today I'll be concluding this vlog with my opinion on the film and sharing what I have felt throughout the entire movie, what I thought about it, which I have not had a chance to explain yet. As an extra, I'll be listing even more points of consideration from the notes that I've taken, which I have not managed to point out during all of my videos, for you to inquire and let your imagination run wild. For me, the most memorable part of the film was when Brody actually killed the shark. We get to see all of the sharks with the different ways the camera captures the shark. For example, we have a side profile of the shark reaching onto the boat. We have the shark through the barrels. We also have when the shark comes up through Hooper's cage. This entire piece of 13 minutes is what I like the most about the film, and it's so good that I cannot even pick one scene from this. The technique used here is that it constant the shark constantly appears and constantly appears and so that as I've said before, when many things happen, it makes us a little bit bewildered and confused on what's going on. And what's more, the shark comes on different ways. So this one makes suspense and one makes tension by reducing what we know. Explain. We have many attacks when we and we also see different views of the shark. And this gives us different impact on how we think about the crew and how we think about the overall what's the overall situation and overall what's going on. Different views of the shark, such as in the first attack of Christy, we did not see anything. The second attack on Alex, what we see is a little bit of his body when he died the breach. And for the third attack, we see the shark's jaws. But only in the breach when it breaches onto the boat and divorce Quinn do we actually see the entire shark together as one piece. In fact, the shark always comes up on the boat to build tension and fear. That is when he was on the boat, barrels in Hooper's cage, and attacks 1, 2, 3 also managed to show this. And because of all of this, it makes the scene so action-packed, so filled, and it's what makes me really like the scene. So remember all of these significant and impactful moments of the film. And this makes both the film and the movie overall significant. And that's what happened for me, and might mostly happen to you, because that one memorable scene that you remember the most, is what you know about the film and that's maybe what you think about the film. So I'll now explain my overall conclusion on the features of film, which contain two possibilities for anything we have discovered, from sound to camera angles, tension and also scaring the audience. The, the first possibility is that we emphasize on key themes such as the sound and shots to let the audience know, and usually in these type of things, things happen slowly. Such as when Chrissy is attacked, they want to know, they want us to know that Chrissy is swimming very well. And they and they've extended time for this by showing us focusing on Chrissy's attack, making it longer. They also focus on when the silence after that to make a contrast on that. And the second po and the second possibility is exactly the, that contrast, the contrast that gives the effect of scaring the audience or to create suspense and tension when things happen quickly, so we are confused to actually produce that effect. Or when something very bold and aggressive just happened, and immediately after that, something really calm. For example, the death of Quinn. That the death of Quinn was also one of my part of uh, my highlights on the film, not just because of the wonderful special effects and realism that was put into it, but because Quinn is a veteran shark hunter and he has just died. It makes the audience worry for the two remaining members who are unexperienced. As I've talked about before in my previous post, one is missing. One who is afraid of the water and has never gotten it before. Which makes us wonder whether someone like this will actually survive. Someone who is this weak and unexperienced and has no uh, ex no type of things they know. They have never been in the water before. And therefore this shows very quick contrast between the two scenes. To create tension and to create suspense. Because the contrast is there and it's also really really quick. Finally, I felt that Jaws was a good inspiration for all people from all walks of life to show that they can conquer anything as long as they were courageous and they tried their best. Just like what Brody did, an expert like Hooper or Quinn doesn't mean that you will succeed, as shown in the film. The tension in the final 30 minutes was done very well as we had a fear of the unknown. For example, the barrels moving could mean that something else has happened, but then the shark comes up all of a sudden. This is quite a good example of the unknown stopping the unknown, and it's what makes the most frightening capacity of film as we've discussed before. Therefore, I rate this movie a stunning 5 stars, because it has been overwhelming, stunning, and magnificent for the 1975 viewers, and the fact that it also surprises me is 
a wonderful bonus. In addition, although it's not as clear compared to modern films, you must remember that Jaws uses real shark control my motors. The blood was not fake, unlike with modern technology, where editing techniques such as CGI is possible. Finally, this was the first time it was done at that time, and so I think it was an absolute job well done, and the fact that they conquered Martha Vineyard's ideology of them filming on their seat and taking over their place, and also the over budget and the over schedule that they also experienced. So we've done a lot in this vlog, but I would like to bring forward the title of this concluding quote. Is every decision made in creating a film a conscious choice, or do we read too much into our analysis? For me, this question brings up a really good point. In the end, I still feel that it is a conscious choice because it's proven by the Jaws documentary, which has been posted under the short Jaws page, that Spielberg personally thought about everything he did. He personally crafted each of every of the scenes and worked really hard with Carl Gosselier to produce the script. Even if you have not seen the documentary before, the thing goes that everything has a reason to it. And so the reason that you come up with will either be directly or indirectly related to it if it is relevant to the scene that you're talking about. So well, things have come to an end, but don't forget the video challenge that I posted up. Send me extra queries for any topics you'd like me to cover in the future through filmstudiesjaws at gmail.com. See you and let the origin of Blockbuster amaze you. Ta-da!